Now in our Sunrise Live, one of the most talked about stories on our Care Love and Facebook page is an unfortunate reminder that incidents and threats targeting Asian Americans are happening right here in Minnesota. For our Care Love and family, that story really hits close to home. On Friday, Song Tong Vang, who is Jia's dad, was dropping off his five-year-old grandson at a school bus stop just east of Lake Phelan in St. Paul. A woman drove up to Vang and started screaming at him, threatening his life, and eventually drove on to yell at other Asian people standing at nearby bus stops. She rode in her car closer to me. The thing that I remember exactly as she said to me is that we hate Asian people. Go back to where you come from, okay? And get out from America. If you're not doing that, we're gonna kill you. And I said, oh, okay, you talk to me, right? And she said, yes. Yeah, Gia, she shared this tweet last week after her father sent her photos of the car that was driving around and yelling at Asian families. Vang fought in the secret war in Laos on the side of the United States and moved to Minnesota in 2011 in part because he thought our state was peaceful. Governor Tim Walz responded to news of the incident, writing on Twitter, Song Tong Vang deserves our utmost respect. We're glad you're here in Minnesota, and I'm so sorry that this happened to you. St. Paul police are investigating what happened, trying to determine who was behind the wheel and who made those threats. Now, in the wake of a mass shooting in Georgia that left eight people dead, including six Asian women, people across the country have been rallying over the weekend to show their support for the Asian American community from Los Angeles to Pittsburgh, where actress Sandra Oh asked Americans to speak up against injustice. You can read more about this story, more about Gia's dad on our website at care11.com. But Gia, I'm so sorry that this happened to your dad, uh, but it's sad that incidents like this, what happened to your family over the weekend, something that happens far too often. So I have to ask, how's your dad doing this morning? Yeah, I think he's still pretty much in shock. I mean, if you've ever had anything uh, like that happen to you, and I have, um, it really shakes you to your core. So it's just, yeah, still a state of shock, confusion, and hurt, and he's wondering what can be done. But thanks for sharing the story, Alicia. You know, these headlines about anti-Asian hate will inevitably and unfortunately fade from national and even local news. But the threat will still be out there and real for Asians. And we know that because we and I have seen new cases around the country every day. So please, I want to ask you to take care of yourself. If you have an elder, let them know what's going on. Create a plan with your family to help run errands with them. And if this sort of thing happens to you or a loved one, report it. It shows through data and stories what it's like to be Asian American in this country right now. And I know it sucks that we have to justify our lives and our experiences this way, but data can help spark policy changes so we can better protect not just the Asian community, but everyone. It's 640 now.